for about an hour, and then mm. unfortunately things started to unravel. You used the word unravel, but actually by now it's just very heavy fighting. And Rafa, you mentioned the fact the, uh, the... You probably know this guy right here. He has traveled the world for NBC, bringing you stories as they happen, from covering wars to the issues at home. Martin Fletcher has seen it all, and he is here in Austin today and with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Aaron. How are you doing? I'm glad to be here. It was a kind of late notice. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, we had a segment about sleep deprivation <coughs> earlier, so I know you're not going on much sleep right now. <laughs> no, I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Yeah, so what, what brings you to Austin? Uh, it's a book tour. I have a new book out, Jacob's Oath. I'm speaking tonight at the JCC at 8 o'clock um, about the book and about my work at NBC. Mm -hmm. And um, after that, I hope to get to see your beautiful city. <laughs> well, yeah, you've been everywhere all around the world, but you've never been here. No, I haven't. But you know what? I, uh, the, since I started writing books, though, I've been able to travel around sort of many small towns in, in, uh, in, in the United States. When I say small, I mean not the you know, New York, L.A., but to get out and see the people. And all these years that I've spent reporting on the news for Americans, I've never really lived in America. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's a great opportunity. Yeah, and so you just got in late last night or early this morning, <laughs> one of the two, one of the two. But it's been dark since you've been here. It's <laughs> a little right. chillier than it's normal. Right now, did you bring your warm clothes? No, I didn't. Actually, I came from Israel. I went from Israel straight to Toronto yesterday, and I forgot my coat. <laughs> wow! It was snowing in Toronto, so well, here for me it's pretty warm. Hopefully, you can find one because I was at a store last night, and they were almost sold out. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> just runs to the store when it gets cold here. So, what are your plans today? Or are you going to be able to see much of the city? Well, I hope so. I mean, actually, I have some friends who live here, Peggy and Dean Singleton, so they're going to come and get me at the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, we d I didn't know I was going to be here at the TV station, or they could have come here, and they'll take me around, and I get to see the place, and I'm, I'm really looking. Forward to that, yeah. It is good to know locals who can show you all the all yeah. the secret spots for yeah. sure. Yeah. So what's next after you uh, talk about your book? What's next for you? Um, you know, I'm still. I, I left, actually left NBC three years ago. I'm still working on on, on a freelance basis, um, and um, I'll be going back to the Middle East and you know where the story just gets bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. Actually, not only in Israel where there's a there's talk about a third intifada. There's so much violence in Jerusalem. Um, and there's, and there's also the question, of course, what's happening with ISIS and ISIS in the Middle East. So that's going to be my main, my main focus. But I'm actually spending a lot of time in Mexico, too. Mm -hmm. And I've got to say something. One thing that interests me is that I've been in Mexico about four months in the last year. There's this gigantic story on America's border, which journalists rarely cover unless it's drug violence, right. pr pretty much. It's, it's such a fabulous country, 130 million people with so many different issues going on. And it's very rarely reported in the United States. So actually, I'm going to try and do more work in Mexico. Good. Fact. It just interests me. I've never, I'd never been there before. Mm -hmm. We look forward to seeing that and, and all the other stories, but beyond the border, for sure. Martin Fletcher, thank you so much for being here this morning, uh, not getting much sleep and coming in and saying <laughs> hi to us and everyone <laughs> thank you very out much, there. Thank you. thank you. Have a great time in Austin. And